name is Rachel. And my name is Alex. And I am so excited that we can still have a Hillsong Kids service with you, but across the internet. How incredible is that? That is so amazing. I love it. So you could be watching this from your kitchen while you're having breakfast. You could be watching this from your bedroom, under your bed. You could be watching this from the jungle, or even under the sea. <gasps> We're so excited that we're joining you at your homes. Now we're going to be doing some amazing stuff today. We're going to do some singing, some dancing, mm -hmm. just like that. Maybe a bit of craft, and you might even get a visit from your good friend, Hippie G. Yes, I love Hippie G. She is so, so funny. So to kick off our service, we're going to worship God. Mm -hmm. So stand to your feet, get ready, because we're going to sing to him. The words will come up on the screen. Let's pray, guys, right, it's really tight. God, thank you that you love us and thank you that wherever we are, you are with us. Lord, we pray if we're feeling scared right now that you may help us in this moment to feel really brave. If we're feeling sad, we pray that as we worship you, you will bring us joy. Thank you that you're always with us. Amen. Amen. Let's worship. I love that we all get to sing together from our own homes. We're going to head over and watch a story all about David and then we get to hear a preach from our good friend Alex. King David was on a mission. A mission to retrieve the Ark of God and bring it back to the city of David. The Ark of God was a large, beautiful box covered in gold. Inside were the two pieces of stone with the Ten Commandments on them, Aaron's staff and some pieces of manna. They were symbols of God's leading and his protection. This mission came about because one day, years before, the Israelites were facing a battle against the Philistines. They said, let's carry the ark with us into the battle for good luck. 
but things didn't go to plan. The Philistines won the battle and captured the Ark. The Ark of God was so powerful that the idols the Philistines worshipped fell over in its presence. The Ark of God wasn't in its rightful place and the power of God's presence wreaked havoc for the Philistines. The Ark of God must not stay here. How can we send it back to the place it belongs? After seven months of being in Philistine territory, the Ark of God was put on a special cart and taken to Abinadab's house on the hill. There the Ark remained throughout the judgeship of Samuel and the reign of Saul. Years and years later, when David had become king, he made it his mission to return the Ark of God to where it belonged. David assembled the best of his best from the army of Israel to recover the Ark of God. David led the parade. Everyone was singing at the top of their lungs and playing their instruments. David was dressed in special priest's clothing and he danced with great abandon before God. They brought the Ark of God and set it in the middle of the special tent that they had pitched for it. Then and there, David worshiped with all his heart. David blessed the people in the name of God and handed out bread and cake to everyone. It was a praise party. A good party needs cake. David's family were a little embarrassed by his dancing. In God's presence, I'll dance all I want. Oh yes, I'll dance to God's glory more recklessly even than this. And as far as I'm concerned, I'll gladly look like a fool. Psalm 96, sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord, praise his name. Proclaim his salvation day after day. Let the heavens rejoice. Let the earth be glad. Let the sea resound and all that is in it. We have victory in Jesus' name, just like David. We can celebrate and give God the glory when great things happen. Dance, sing, praise God when situations turn around. God's word, the Psalms, give us wisdom for life. Previously on Psalms, Proverbs and Parables. You've won a trip in the car of the future. Now, is anyone free to go to Abinadab's cleaning lab? Nathan and I will go. What? Oh. I'm coming on this road trip. The, the car, car of the future. future. Uh, what could possibly go wrong? Did we just stop? It's not like someone's hatched a devious plan to stop us getting to Abinadab's cleaning lab. Well, hello, my little muffin. Why are you doing this, Stan? Maybe I want to stop you from getting to Abinadab. To the cleaning lab! If we don't get to the cleaning lab, we, we won't, won't get, get to start our holidays tomorrow. Oh, Lord, as we look to the heavens. Hang on, I can't see the heavens. Knife! You know Stan usually has more up his sleeve. Funny man, Dan! Run! One, two, three, four! There's something special about this place full of crazy characters and imagination run wild. A place where the good news of Jesus spreads out all over the world. Join us as we plan it, film it, and wrap it up. world of being. How far to go? Well, it's around here somewhere. We're really close. Oh, I can see it. <gasps> We've got company. This is not looking good. Fitty Man Stan's never gone this far before. What are we gonna do? I say we should tell Gopher we can't get the costumes. Can't be that important. Oh, it's a text from Gopher. He says, how are the costumes going? It's that important. Can't we just film after break? He says, we can't film after break. Otherwise they'll use another TV show. Who else is making a show? He says, Funny Man Studios. <gasps> Say that again. Funiman Studios. <gasps> and just the last part? Studios. <gasps> that must be Funny Man Stan Studios! Oh. oh, wasn't about the holiday. That was his plan all along. We gotta do something about this. But what? I say, we beat him at his own game.
Hello, tiny human friend. Hi. Ah, uh, it's so good to be here at church. Where? Uh, church. Where? Church. Church. <laughs> yes, my friend. But I've had a rough week. No. <gasps> yes, my friend. On Monday, I pretend to be a race car driver. I win race. <gasps> on Tuesday, I pretend to be runner. <laughs> I win race. On Wednesday, I pretend to be carpenter. You see, I build myself a cabinet to keep all my trophies in it. <laughs> a lot of hard work, though. Whew. But you are only one who listened to me. So let me tell to you a number one problem of week. You see, my friend, my grandfather is coming back from Croatia. I am so excited to see him. We always have best time singing, dancing, playing. Oh my goodness, but uh, what I am concerned about is how do I show love to my god like that? How do I express it? I mean, it's easy with my grandfather. Play, dancing, singing. Yes, yes, my friend, that is what we do together. Playing, dancing, singing. Say that again, my friend. Singing. Are you telling to me? That in the same way that I am so grateful for my grandfather that we sing and dance and play, that in the same way I could be thankful to my God and we sing and dance and play together as well. Is that what you're telling to me, my friend? Dance party! This is the most heavily guarded dry cleaners I've ever seen. Look! They are working for Stan. Why can't Stan pick up his own dry cleaning? No, they want to stop us getting in. Why do we want Stan's dry cleaning? No! He's here! Phony man Stan! Now what? We're going to need some serious help to turn this around. We should ask God for help. Plague of locusts. Oh. The Red Sea parting. What about a den of lions? No, no. God, I just need an idea. <gasps> what was that again? <gasps> and just the last part. <gasps> I've got it. I'll distract him while you two run in. Let's go. Brilliant. So we meet again, Stan. Yes, Funny Man Dan. And now it's time for us to... Macarena! <laughs> You've gone too far this time, Stan. You'll never get away with it. Oh, uh, have I already gotten away with it? What do you mean? Uh, I haven't already gotten away with it, but in the future, I'll be looking back and I would have known that I've gotten... I'm just very self-confident. You're not going to stop us making our TV show, Stan. What possibly could you be meaning? Oh, we know all about Foony Man Studios. Say that again. Foony Man Studios? And just the last part. Studios? <laughs> but... Ah, Dan, Dan, run! <laughs> Go for Brother Limo! We did it, guys! Once again, we forged Stan's master plan! Best, Best road, road trip, trip ever! ever. Get some henchmen! Run as fast as your little legs can carry you! Hey Doc, how was your day at work? I took the day off to empty out my swimming pool. Oh, how'd you go? It was so draining. Well, I once tried to get a job as a butcher. What happened? Couldn't make the cut. I used to work as a suit maker. How was that? So-so. I was once a historian. Why'd you quit? There was no future in it. Here we are, gopher. Take this. Right, got him. Right, up we go. Now what I don't understand is how did Gopher know where the car was? Well, I gave him a call and I explained everything. Remember, it's an autonomous car. So it's voice activated. But wouldn't you have to sound like Funny Man Stan? Take me to Big HQ, please! No, no way! way! 
What a turnaround from this morning. I didn't even want to come with you guys, but I wouldn't have missed this for the world. I feel like we've been in a spy movie. Driverless cars, spy drones, evil henchmen. But we got the costumes and saved the day. And throughout it all, God helped us. <laughs> we need to dance like no one's watching. Ah, uh, once again, Funny Man Dan, you foiled my plan. Yes, but we will meet again. As we will. Salsa. kids and what a pleasure it is to share the word of God with you today because I love that story about David that it says that he danced in front of the ark and he was undignified which means he didn't worry about how foolish he looked how silly he looked undignified is about not caring about what anybody thinks and he would just dance and go for it and I love it and welcome to my kitchen because this story, David was celebrating God and he made cakes. I don't know about you, but I love cake. You see, cake is so good, it's so sweet. So, so I thought that I would make a cake just like David did. And David shared it with everybody. You see, David loved God so much. He praised him and today's theme is praise party. And who knows that at every party, you need to have cake. So, I've got my ingredients list and what I need to do here. And so, we are ready. So, on my list, I need to have... Oh, what do I need? Eggs. Oh, yes, I love eggs. I've got some eggs but right here. Ba -ba -ba. Cream eggs are so yummy. So we've got eggs. That's fantastic. While I speak about eggs, you see David in the Psalms, David wrote so much the Psalms. It says this in Psalms 86, verse 12. It says, I will praise you, Lord my God, with all my heart, I will glorify your name. You see, David was so foolish, so undignified. He just loved God so much and he praised his name forever. You see, David always knew that his victory was in God. And in 1 Corinthians 15 verse 57, it says this, But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right, Hillsong kids. We get the victory. You and me, thanks to Jesus, because he did everything on the cross and he died and he rose again and he set us free. So we get the victory. And so what that means that, that we get full freedom, that all the blessings that come from knowing Christ is for us. So we get healing because of him, that when our bodies die, we get to go to heaven where there's a huge party and there'll be a whole lot of cake there. So we get the victory because of Jesus. Hmm. What do I need next? Oh, yes, lemon. And then you just gotta mix it around. Hmm. I also need some sugar. Oh, yeah. Sugar, sugar. Oh, yes, nice and sweet. Oh, yes. And I also need some flour. Hmm, I've got some flour. Oh, yes, I've got flowers right here. Mmm, smell disgusting. Sugar is going to be the nicest cake ever. Alexander, that looks absolutely rancid. 
That is not a cake mixture, darling. You've got it all wrong. You've sugar, sugar, butter, not sugar. egg. Yeah, eggs. Cream. You put cream eggs in there, Poppy. Yes. That's not what it is. I love cream, cream eggs. eggs, darling. Real eggs from the back there. Oh. Flowers. I love the thought, but it's completely wrong, darling. You've gone absolutely potty. Don't worry, folks. Because you know what I like to carry around me in my pockets. What have you got? Flour. I feel it, you know, it bounces me out. Thank you. Sugar. One should always carry a bag of sugar in one pocket and a bag of flour in the other pocket. It's vital. It balances you out. It's a balanced style. Lovely. Thank you so much. I'm going to get to it now. All right. Hey, PG. Later on, there's going to be an amazing praise party and... I'm going to come and show you I do cake. like to party. <laughs> oh, no. Um, well, I tell you what. <coughs> I've got to dash. I've got lots of bits and bobs to get on with. I've got some songwriting, some hip-hop granny pieces to get on with, so... Great. I must dash, darling. Thank you, Hippie G. I'm going to carry on with my cake. Thank you yes. so much for your help. That's so silly of me. Oh, got to watch it there. <laughs> So, uh, see you later. Thanks, BG. Bye. See you, Luke. Oh, dear. Well, I need to start all over again, but... Ah. Well, I'm going to start my cake again. But, guys, remember, we get the victory in Christ. And just like David celebrated with cake, we can celebrate every single day. And that's why we worship God and we sing Him songs, because we know that we get all healing, we get all forgiveness, we have the love of God, and He loves you so, so much. Close your eyes really tight, I'm gonna pray. God, thank you that we get the victory through you, and thank you that we get to praise you because you are so amazing and so loving. We praise you because you are worth praising. Amen. Oi, oi. Here are some kids, I will see you very soon. Making up raps, think about cats, moving and grooving, moving and grooving, making up raps, do a little clap, making up raps, think about cats, gonna have a groove, getting in the mood. Oh! Hippie G! Alex, you nearly <laughs> gave me Thank you, you so much for your help. Look at the cake I made. Oh, look, that's brilliant. I'm glad you took my advice. You know, as an old girl, you must listen to your elders because they have lots of great advice. You know, like your mummies and daddies because they're all really, really old. Listen to them because they know lots of things like me about making a cake that looks delicious, dear. Well done. <laughs> Thank you. We can have such a good party now and it is so important to have a real praise party just like King David did. Party? And so I wonder, will you do a performance for us? Oh, of course I will. I know it's what the people want. We give the people what they That's want. That's right. <laughs> Here's some kids. Get ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, it's time to fill the beat. DJ, hit that track. Oh yeah, fill the beat. I'm a hip hop granny. I'm just feeling it. Here we go. I'm a hip hop granny. Hip hop granny. That's right. Do you remember it from last week? You follow after me. We say I'm a hip. That's what they call me. Oh, 
I'm doing a new thing, making my heart sing, bringing color to this brand new day. It's never been clearer, you draw me nearer, you're always with me and you're here right now. My song, a melody, you're a perfect love for me, my heart is full of praise, you're alive.
clouds, black and white Turns the color all around All this new in the Savior I have found See the sun now bursting through the clouds Black and white Turns the color all around All this new in the Savior I have found Oh, this is living Thanks for that message, Alex. That was brilliant. We're now going to watch our big word memory verse, which is Psalm 111, verse 10. So jump up to your feet, get warmed up, get ready to move around. That's right, because we want you to learn this verse and we would love to see you in action. So you can Instagram us, Hillsong Kids UK, send it through, or you can also email kids at hillsong.co.uk. But we would love to see you remembering this verse and remembering the dance. Let's go. Incredible. I love that verse so much because God definitely deserves all of our praise. But now it's time to do our craft. Let's get crafty. Let's get crafty, everybody. Okay, today we are making party hats. This is my hat, the one I made earlier. Now, because we're talking about praising Jesus, having a praise party, we thought we'd make some cool party hats. So this one looks a little bit more like a crown. I'm going to show you how I made it. So let's pop this to the side. Now all you need is some paper. I'm going to use white paper, but you can use coloured paper if you like. And you need some scissors. Grown-ups, we will need your help with the scissors, okay? Little ones, don't use the scissors on your own some felt tip pens and some cello tape. Now I've already cut three pieces, that's all you'll need. First of all, let's get our paper and we're going to fold it in half, long ways. Right, now we're going to use our thumbnail 
to make a crease in the paper. Swivel it over, same again. Now it's time to get your grown-ups help. Call out for your grown-ups. You can cut any shape you like in your hat. I'm going to do a wiggly, wiggly line on this one. It's almost like waves in the ocean. Now you don't need your scissors anymore, so you can pop those out the way. Now what I'm going to do, because I've made that crease in my paper, I'm going to rip it from top to bottom. Can you see how that's such a straight line? Now what I'm going to do is put my two pieces of paper together, get one of my pieces of sellotape that I've already cut so I don't have to wait and get all fiddly. Just like this. Now I've cut an extra piece just in case. Now what I'm going to do is decorate my hat. You can do whatever you like on your hat. Now you'll need your grown-up's help to measure the size of your head. Once you've got it right on your head, then you're going to sellotape your hat together. Make sure it fits, make sure it's not too big or not too small. And there we have it, another amazing party hat. I can't wait to see the pictures of yours. That was so much fun. I love that craft. Me too. And I love your hat. Thank you. I love my hat too. Can we swap? Not just now. Thank you all so much for joining us this week. We've had heaps and heaps of fun in your house. Now this week, check out our Instagram, YouTube, and also the Hillsong website, where you're going to find lots of activities and funny videos of us being a little bit silly. So why don't we finish up and pray together? Yes, let's. This has been Hillsong Kids Online. Thank you for tuning in. Let's close your eyes real tight, and Rachel's gonna pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you love us. Thank you that we get to worship you and we get to praise your name. Lord, I pray that you'll protect all of our HSK family and we can't wait for more HSK online next week. We love you, God. And everybody said, Amen. Amen. Bye, everyone. Have a great week. <laughs>